everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I've been asked a lot about Adea Pianos versus the Icefly, and I have them both, so I can give you my opinion of them. This is the Adea Piano, and this is the Adea Icefly. They're very, very similar, but there are some differences, so we're going to talk about what those are today. Let's start with the Adea Icefly. This is the lightest skating boot available, and I actually did get on a scale with both the Icefly and the Piano, and these are both mounted with the same exact blades, and I couldn't see much of a difference on the scale, so it's probably very minute. But I also did something completely by accident recently. I grabbed one Piano and one Icefly and put them in my bag, and fortunately, I had one right and one left boot, I typically wear the ice flies to coach in because they're very, very broken in and comfortable. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when I get to the pianos. But when I'm doing just an hour of coaching, I'll wear my pianos so that I'm well adapted to them. And for some reason, I had them both out of my bag and I grabbed one of each, put them in my bag, and when I got to the rink, very fortunately, I did have one right and one left boot, but I didn't have any choice. I had to teach in one piano and one ice flight. And honestly, I didn't feel much difference between them. These are mounted exactly the same with the same blade, the same position on the bottom of the boot. So I did not feel much difference. Now it might've been different if I had been skating freestyle for myself, I probably would have felt much different, but in an environment where I was coaching, I didn't really feel much difference at all. So this is, I'm gonna say, and it's not really, but I'm gonna say the original flagship product of Adaya. This was really the turning point for skating technology, is this boot right here. And I don't recommend it for a beginner skater, unless you are an adult and you're planning on skating for a long time, in which case you can't overboot in a day, and you might've heard that before, but it's absolutely true. And the reason why is that all of the flex in all a day of boots comes from the tongue. So you're flexing here from the ankle. There is no side to side, like you can't bend these boots from side to side. So you really can't overboot. Uh, that said, you want to make sure before you get into an ice fly, because they're not cheap, you want to make sure you're going to be skating for a while. And if you're a child and your foot is growing, this is really not a good boot for you to start with. This is for skaters that are either older or have been skating for a while. And it's meant for skaters working on triple and quad jumps because it has a 90 rating which Adea says is extra strong. I am not working on any of those things. I am just an adult skater that's about 135 pounds and I like the way this feels. And I, I turned to this boot after I completely shattered my ankle. I was struggling with traditional Rydell skates which are made of leather and I was struggling with them. I could not push to get enough bend in my knee. Because when you're bending with a leather boot, you're bending here and the boot, the leather boot laterally flexes with it. That doesn't happen with a Daya. This was for me, the best investment I ever made in my skating. So I highly recommend this to people that are struggling getting deep knee bend. But that said, they're not a cheap boot and you do buy the boot and the blade separate so you get more of a customized experience because you get to choose your blade. I happen to use a gold seal which I switched to when I switched to these. Here's the other thing about Adea. The sole is a, a, a different shape. What that means is that you're gonna need a shorter blade. So if you have a Rydell boot now and your blade is fine, or a Jackson boot right now and your blade is fine, and you switch to a Dea, chances are you're going to need a new blade. And if you're like me and you have a gold seal, which can run 
about $700, you're gonna need to replace that when you replace the boot. So that's something that you're gonna have to take into consideration. Like I said, this is lightweight and it's a, it's a high level boot. It's designed with microfiber and mesh and it offers strength laterally on the sides as well as flexibility with knee bend. It's really amazing for that, honestly. Something that is different about Adea is that the footbed right here, there's an increased slant. And that's meant to reduce the reaction time when you're preparing for a jump. But it also means that you're pitched forward a little bit more. So if you're a skater that breaks at the waist, bending your back instead of your knees, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to with any Adea boot. Another thing that's different about Adea is that the sole is very thin. So you have good contact with, with the bottom of, of the boot. It lowers your center of gravity and provides you with greater control and stability. The Adea heel is also interesting because if you notice it has a curve, it's not a block. So there's a curve in it. And this helps to increase weight distribution, allowing the heel to be in contact with more than half of the insole, which gives you as a skater a sense of control. And because Adea boots are so flexible in the tongue, there's a much shorter break in time because you're not really, you're not gonna break in the, these sides. Those are not gonna break in. So you're gonna break in really just the tongue. Something else that's different about Adea is that when they're laced up, you actually can put your hand down the front because they're not strangling your shin, giving you that lace bite feeling, you have more movement there. And that's a little uncomfortable at first, but you do get used to it. And it's just laced a little bit differently than other brands of boots are. Now, you may have noticed that this has this white sole. That's actually a dual sole technology that removes ice chatter. So you don't feel a lot of vibrations from the ice. And I actually took this a step further. And in my Adea Ice Flies, I have put Noeen insoles. And these are Noeens that are made for Adea. You might have seen these on Shark Tank. The piano comes with this built in. I had to put these in to the Adea. And it just adds a little bit better of shock absorbency. And when you're in your skates every day for hours, the way that I am, it really makes a difference. Even, even though I don't really do a lot of jumping in these because I coach in them, it's, it just really helps. Especially like last, last season, I taught outdoors at a rink in Jersey City that was actually built on a fountain. So underneath, like a typical indoor ice rink will have sand or rubber underneath. This, this rink that I taught in, in Jersey City, uh, it was just concrete underneath. And even with all the shock protection, I still felt that. But I can't imagine what it must have been like if I didn't. Now, another thing about Adea is the sole is waterproof. You don't have to put wax on it or get them waterproofed by your tech. It's, it's waterproof by design. And they use special screws that help you keep that waterproof. And the inside is microfiber that is, is nice padding, but it also dries quickly. So if you're a skater that, if your feet sweat a lot, this will dry fairly quickly for you. And there's a nice little heel pocket in the back that you can also have the boot custom fit. Now, if you are buying these, I would say my biggest advice to you is do not buy them online and take them to a skate tech that does not work with Adea. You want to purchase your Adea boots from a skate tech that knows how to work on these because despite what many skate techs think, you cannot put these in an oven. You just, they do not go in an oven. 
I've seen skate techs do that and that is not something that you should be doing with a Dea. You actually use a high powered hair dryer, not a heat gun, but a high powered hair dryer to heat up a spot that you want to, like I, I had it done here. And I'll put up a picture of my skates being done. So they actually put the hair dryer in the place where you want some custom shaping. And then it's molded. And I've had that done in several places on these, but they don't go in an oven. So don't just take them to any skate tech. They can't punch them out like they would a leather skate. They can't use the same oven that they bake Jackson's in. You really need to have somebody shape these that knows what they're doing. Now, if you have your heart set on Adeas and you don't have a local skate tech that works on Adeas, you can contact Skates US, which is the US importer, the exclusive US importer for Adea, and either go to them, they are near Dayton, Ohio in Indiana. Uh, you can go to them, but you can also do a tracing of your foot and send it to them and they will shape your boots. That is an option if you have US flagged Adeas. You can't do that though if you buy them in Europe or have them exported from Europe and shipped to the US because Skates US only services US flagged Adea skates. One drawback to the ice flies it is if you are working on triples or possibly even doubles and you're wearing the ice fly, they do break down quicker than the piano would. So I started to feel that a few years ago and that's when I decided to upgrade to the piano so I had more support and stability. If you're a skater that's really hard on their boots, you will you can expect to replace these at least once a season. If you're an adult skater and you're not you're only doing singles and not jumping all that often, they'll last you a lot longer. Now I've had these since 2016. It's now 2021. They're still fine for um, coaching in, I would not be going out and doing jumps and spins in them for my own personal skating, but for coaching, they're still fine. So it really just depends on how hard you are on your skates. The other thing with Adea is that you do need to replace the laces often. Adea says to replace them every time you get your blades sharpened. So that's pretty frequent. And that's because the laces are what helps hold you into the skate. So if you're not replacing your laces frequently enough, that can affect the life of the boot as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get these put away and we're gonna move on to the piano. But before I do that, I wanna show you one thing about the piano and that's the split tongue. Adea switched in 2018 to the split tongue design. And you'll notice my ice fly does not have that design. I understand that like the ice fly, the seam is here, and in the piano, the seam goes down the center. Now, I understand that Adea has brought back this old design to all its skates, and I will tell you that it is different skating on these, because when you knee bend, this part of the tongue tends to push down on your foot if you have the split tongue. If you don't like that, if you have the split tongue design and you don't like it, the good news is you can get the old design now. You just have to make sure that your dealer that you're buying from has that or can order it. This is my understanding anyway. I prefer this design and I wish my pianos had that design because it's distracting that this part of the tongue inside pushes down on your foot when you're bending. It's super distracting. And that is the one thing I would change about this. Okay, now for the rest of the piano. The piano, and you can see how I have this shaped to go around the hardware in my ankle. You can probably see that. This is a much stiffer boot. When you look online, it says it's 95% extra strong. And it's also rated for triple and quad jumps. But I will tell you, this is much less forgiving than the ice fly. The tongue is stiffer or it feels stiffer, or maybe it's this design here. And they did that so that the tongue stopped breaking down as quickly, but 
the offset is that it pushes down on your foot. So let me know, leave me a comment down below if you've experienced that with the piano or any of the newer Adea that have this split tongue design. Let me know what your experience is with that. The other thing is some people will tell you that this is a higher boot. It's not actually higher. It does have a higher collar. This is not supportive. It's just a padded cushion, which for me is great because the ice fly before I got them rolled back would tend to dig in and I didn't like that. I'm really glad that this has that, but it doesn't make the boots and the support of the boot any higher. So that's something to point out. It's a little bit of a, a misconception that the pianos are a higher boot. It's not actually higher than the ice fly. It just has some extra cushioning at the top, which may make it feel higher, but there's not real support offered there. And this is super light. I can't really feel a difference between the ice fly and the piano, honestly. Uh, what is different in terms of weight? I, I have the same blade on both of them. What is different here? is that there are two separate layers of the anti-shock system. So like I showed you in the ice fly, I had that additional insole in there. You don't need that with the piano and I don't have that in the piano because it actually has that insole built into the design. So there is one on the outer sole like the ice fly has and one on the inner sole, similar to what I get by putting that Noeen insert into my ice fly. Another thing that this has that the piano doesn't is that there's an ergonomic heel lock. So, and I, that is something I, I can tell you for me, aside from this tongue, I feel that more than anything else is the heel lock. My heel stays down really well in, in the piano better. I mean, it stays down pretty well in the ice fly too, but it's much better. And the day that I accidentally wore one of each, I really could tell the difference. It does offer additional strength. And for some skaters, this may be too much. And honestly, for me, it's probably a little too much, but I wanted a skate that would last longer and not break down as easily. I do have this with this, but I can't wear it for a long period of time. I can really only wear this for maybe up to an hour and a half to two hours. Whereas the ice fly, I wear that literally sometimes five or six hours at a time. This, because it's more supportive, is more constrictive and a lot less forgiving than the ice fly. If you're a skater that struggles with wearing a boot for a long period of time, the piano may unfortunately not be the best boot for you. But again, talk to your tech, talk to your coach before you make a decision. Everything else about the piano is very similar to the ice fly. These are very similar skates, very similar. I mean, this is newer and this is older. And I've added some bling onto the heel of the piano. And that's because I don't like the white heel. I don't like that. But you can actually get that changed. You can either paint it or I've heard of skaters replacing the heel with a different color heel and my tech does that. If you are local to me in New Jersey and you're looking for a good Adaya tech, Greg at Polar Skate Shop, he's my go-to guy. He's a great tech for Adaya as well as Resport, Jackson, and Rydell. Uh, he also has Graf. He's a great tech. If you're local to me in New Jersey, I would recommend that you go there. If you're not local to me, check with your coach for a recommendation of who to purchase these from. And if you have your heart set on them but can't find a local tech, then by all means, go to Skates US and purchase them directly from them. But reach out and talk to someone there first about doing it. Make sure you're gonna have the right experience. And that is my summary of ice fly versus piano. And I was also thinking that if you're not quite ready to go into an ice fly, a concerto is an option for you. And if you'd like me to do a video on that, leave a comment down below. I can talk about the differences between ice fly and concerto. Cause that was actually suggested to me when I got my ice flies that maybe a concerto 
might be a good option for me too. So I'd be happy to talk about that. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any other additional questions about pianos versus ice fly, or if you'd like to see that video about concertos and let me know what your experience has been with Adaya boots and what your favorite one is. Remember, I post at least three videos a week and some of them are about skating. Others are about training off ice and nutrition. If you're interested in that kind of content, please remember to subscribe and tap the bell so that you never miss a video. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends on social media too. That goes a long way to help other people find the channel. This is Amy, happy skating. I will see you real soon, bye.